Hi everyone, welcome to another session of Linux for Bioinformatics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find files in Linux. So let's get started. So make sure you have opened your terminal and then download this file. Let's go to my GitHub page. So I will leave the link to this page in the description box. So when you are here, get this file, unix.zip. That's what you are going to use. And by the way, so this file here, it's a modified version of this one here. This is the original file, but I have uh, modified it a bit. So if you want the original file, you can visit this page. All right, so this is a popular um, resource for learning Linux or let's say Unix. All right, so this file here is available. All right, but let's use the one I have here because I've tailored it for bioinformatics, basically for biologists. All right. So download so to download just click it and then you'll be sent to this page. So when you are here, come to this side raw and then click to download. And then you'll be asked to save it. All right. So that's how we do it. But because I am going to work on the command line, I'll get a download link rather. So I'll right click it and I'll go to copy link. And I'll copy it. All right. So once I do that, I'll go to the terminal and then download. Yeah. So on the terminal, I'll create a directory called Linux. You can also use Unix if you want, but I'll use Linux. And then I'll cd into it. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is that I want all for that I'll generate to be separated or to be separate from the files already on my system. I don't want them to get messed up. So it's always good to organize your files this way. All right. So I will now download the zip file with wget. You can also use curl by the way, but I prefer to use wget and then I will download it. It's done. Now let's ls. We are going to find this zip file. So let's unzip it using the unzip command. All right, so this one zip the files for us. Now let's clear the screen and continue. So let's do an ls and we are going to find a directory called Unix. So we are going to work with the files in this directory. All right, so, and by the way, this is the first episode of the tutorials on finding files. I'll be making more content on it. So today I'm keeping it simple because the first episode and I want beginners to uh, kind of gets the uh, hang of it. All right, so we'll do it. Some commands. Okay, so let's ls into it. We are going to find lots of files. We are going to find directories. All right, so that's what you have. And um, please take note that I'll be updating this material. And so, in case you don't see anything here, okay, then don't worry. We are just modifying it. So the most important thing is to get the commands right and you should know what you are doing. So that's what I'm going to show you now. All right. So we can start. So we have all the materials we need. We have our directory. We also have the files and directories and that's directory. So we can proceed. So first let's do a PWD to know where we are. This is where I am. And when I LS, this is the directory. This directory has all the files, so we can start. Okay. So let's continue. So let's start with um, the basic command. So if you want to find files, or if you want to find a file, for this story, we are going to use a find utility. This one here, that's how we do it. There are tools that can also help you to find files. I will cover them in our tutorial. So find is the utility we are going to use today. All right, so you can just type find and say dash dash help and you get this coming up. So once you see this coming up, that means you have the utility there. All right, so that's what you should know. So we can proceed. All right, so let's do an ls again to check our directory. Let's ls again into it and then we can start the exercise proper. All right, now the ls command is something that you will always be using in Linux because you always have to find uh, where you are. You always have to look at the file that you have, etc. 
so take note of that so we will use the ls a lot all right so let's continue so we will start so let's say we want to find let me just do this i think this will be better so let's just say let's say we want to find all files and directories in this directory all right this is how we do it now the find fun function okay or let's say the find utility the syntax is this way so find and then you indicate your source or let's say where or let's say location i'll just put it this way so location that's where you want um to find the files or directories and then you can also give other options as well options like this so we we'll cover the options all right so that's why we are doing it in part so we are going to do all of these things very soon so fine you give your location options etc so this is basically about it that that's the syntax all right okay so let's start so we will start by finding all files in this directory all right so to do that you say find and then you indicate the location so the location now becomes unix or you can also say dot slash unix because we're in the current directory and then you say dash name and then we bring our quotes and we say star all right like this so once we do this all the files will be listed for us. so let's execute this command all right so we can see lots of files here and you can also see the path so when you move into unix itself we have unix slash unix intro.htm so this is in the unix directory all right you can also scroll down you will see some here we have unix slash files slash assembly so that means there's a directory in that directory we have this it has also been listed here all right so everything in that directory will be listed for that is where the star comes in all right let's check again so this star here means all everything all right so the star here if you are using it in a delete command like rm then you should be very careful because star means everything everything will be affected all right so you should know when to use it all right we are going to refine this command very soon now with the find command you can also indicate the file type okay if let's say the type is f that means files if it's d that means directories so let's modify it let's say we want to list only directories all right let me just ls again let's say we want to find directories that are in this directory so that means those are sub directories how do we do that you say find and you say dash not dash you have to indicate the location first so we say find dot slash unix and then we say dash type and we say d all right like this and i can add dash name and we say star so let's execute this command all right so now we can see that only directories have been listed for so unix is a directory itself unix just fast a files miscellaneous media these are all directories so of course you can also use the ls command and modify it to get direct but today we are using the find command all right so let's ls into unix just to confirm so we see one two three four all right four sub directories in unix all right now with the find we use this dot slash unix but if you want to include the current directory where you are now then you have to say find dots that means starting from where you are your current working directory everything uh, all the search will be done 
it will include the current directory so that means that what we got here all right so all the commands we've had here we will start from the linux directory and then we will move to this one here all right so you realize in the linux directory that's where we have the original file the zip file but when we did it find the first find command to list the files the unix.zip file was not included because we only specify unix but if you use the dot slash you will get the unix.zip let's try it so i see slash name i'll say star like this so now if you scroll up you are going to see the unit.zip let's just check which is here yeah so this is it all right unit.zip all right now let's proceed i thought i'll bring that to attention also all right let's ls again now what about if we want to find files we looked at how to specify the type so we looked at um, directories so how do we find files let's say we want to exclude directories all right let's uh, listen to unix we have directories we have files now we want to find just the files for example we have regions.bed sign.txt tree.js etc all right we have all these all right we just want to list the files all right so how do we do that we are also going to do that now so let's do this so to limit to just files you say find and then the location and then you can choose to use the dots to include your current working directory or you can use the unix so that one i'll leave it to you so this is the time to explore but i'll use this one here okay now let's do this we have specified the location now we say dash type and we say f that means false all right now you can say dash name and we say star like this so let's execute this command all right so this will list just the files for us so we have the files so anything other than directories will be considered as false that's f and then they'll be listed for us so that's what we have here all right okay now let's continue sometimes you are you'll be interested in just some files for example you have lots of files maybe uh you've been given a pc which belongs to someone else you need to look for files let's say a fast a file for example you have all these how do we get that fast a file let's do that all right so that's what we are going to do let's do an ls we are now going to look at specific file types and then we will narrow down to a specific file all right so let's say you want to find all fast a files all right now fast a files you have the extension dot fast a some also use dot fa all right but for this tutorial we are going to use the dot fast a all right so if you want to find file types for example this one fast a then we can say find all right now i'll use dot slash just to include my current working directory and then i'll say dash type now you know the drill f because i want just the file and i'll say dash name and then when i bring the code i'll say star dot first a like this yeah this one here so let's execute this command so now you can see what we have here so we have just this one here all right so that's what we have all right so we can proceed so this is how we specify a file type and then search for it 
in Linus using the find utility. All right, so let's proceed. So far, so good. Let's continue. All right, so these utilities are very handy, and that is why you have to learn Linux. So let's say Unix, because if I don't know what big data, if I don't know lots of files, then it becomes easier to get some of these commands to do the work for you. All right, now let's proceed. So now we have been able to look at how to find directories, how to find files, how to even specify file types here. Yeah. Now let's narrow it down. Now let's just say you have a particular file, you know the name, all right? Let's do an ls, let's ls into the unit directory. Let's do this. Let's ls into, let's say, yeah, I'll use the first a directory again. So I'll say ls unix slash. Plus a all right so this first a directory there's nothing in there so i'll just use this one so it's ls unix slash files all right okay so i have some files here okay so the ls unit slash the ls slash the ls unit slash first a um it's empty at the moment so don't worry uh we are going to use the one in the slash file so it's fine it's even good so there's an empty directory first key but later on i'll modify it so that's fine don't worry all right so let's just say we are looking for a specific first a file all right a specific first a file let's say this or let's say this yeah we can even use um this or this let's say virulencegens.first a it's possible to also specify that then that means you are becoming specific all right so let's try it now we can say find the slash you say dash type f dash name and you can give the specific name like this so let's execute this command all right, so if the file is there, then it's going to be displayed for you and you also see the path. So in case maybe you have a file missing or you can't find it, then the find command here will help you to get the file. All right, and of course, that's where you try to refine it by using file types, by using names, by giving some patterns and then the list will be reduced for you so that you'll be able to quickly locate your file or your files. All right, so this is how we use the find utility. Uh, you can also do this. Let's also try this. We have some HTML files here. So that'll be your assignment. How do you find this? Of course, you can use the ls name. When you come here, you can say star that's HTML to find the HTML files and this will list all of them for you so this is how we use the find utility in Linux all right so this is the first episode of the finding files in Linux um, tutorials and so I'll be making more tutorials later on so for now you can check this playlist here if you want to learn more about Linux and how to use it for bioinformatics activities. So I'll see you in the next session.